I'm getting my lawn mowed today. Um, I was wanting to show you guys this plant. And I don't know if I did a video about this before. I might have, like, way back when I started first doing videos. But this is a plantain herb. And it's not the same as the bananas. It's an actual herb. It's, it can be used as a vegetable. Like, if you want to eat it as a vegetable, you want to take, like, these smaller leaves. You can use these leaves to eat if you cook them like spinach because they're just a little bit tougher when they get bigger. But I was gonna say, I have got a ton of this like in my side yard because I've actually tried to encourage it. And you can see right here, this is a seed pod. And this gets little red seeds. That I did do a video. I showed you the seeds before and they're real bright red. It gets little red seeds in there. You can hear that mockingbird. He's mocking me. Every time I come out here, he starts going bananas. Um, so anyways, uh, you can eat this. It's, it has medicinal properties. It's very good for you. You can look it up online. It's plantain herb. I'll put the title of it. But you can see I made this salve. It's almost gone. Um, out of plantain, beeswax, olive oil, and a fragrance. Just last year I made it and it's almost gone and I'm going to make some more of it. And you can get beeswax online and you can get um, fragrance oil of course. You can use any fragrance. I use patchouli in mine because I really like that. And But you can use anything you want really. And I'm going to go pick all I can before my lawnmower guy comes because I don't want to waste any of it. And it can be dried. Like, you can just wash it and then put it in, like, a spaghetti strainer and then just sit it in the refrigerator and it'll just dry naturally. Just shake it around every once in a while to keep the leaves separated. But it makes a great salve. And it's very healing for the skin. He does that all night long. He never shuts up. He actually moves to the tree in the front. Wanted to show you guys what these balsamic eggs look like. Um, they're, they get really, they soak up all that balsamic vinegar and they're really, really brown. I put some, tum the fresh turmeric in here too. Not the powdered stuff. I mean, you can use the powdered stuff, but I prefer to use the fresh root that I grow here. Um, you can see. And I mean, if you cut into these, the contrast, you know, with the bright yellow is really cool. But, yeah, I just wanted to show you what they looked like. Kind of a neato thing. <laughs> 